Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Switzer Lake in Europa Universalis 4. So we're gonna go ahead and head over this way and this way. We're gonna head up to here. We come down to there. Platinet is Protestant. They're currently converting land to Protestant for us. Good stuff. Um, we do have a Regency Council. We gotta sit around and do nothing for seven years. But sometimes that's actually for the best. We do have one one possible rebellion that's at 80%, so I don't want to be at no morale. That attrition was kind of stupid. Stupid armies. Armies are dumb, man. Mines and Cologne are both getting pretty old. We don't really want a union, though. Okay, we have enough opinion now. I think that we can, over the next couple months here, start to get them up to 190. So we'll take the Alliance, we'll take the Royal Marriage, they'll offer it, that's fine with me. Um, beyond that, we'll offer the military access. We're not going to have to send them any money. Oh wow, look at our Monarch points. Yeah. Can't do anything here, we don't have the de development bonus. Can't do that till 78. And it's mostly my fault, you know, I revoked, revoked some territory from them. I revoked old territory from them, though. That's the thing. Like, taking away a province that ha already had low autonomy, like, say... Uh, whichever one it was. I think it was Novara we had taken... No, it must have been Milan. Because I remember it was at about 12%. That's good. Giving away land that has high autonomy is also good. So... Let's do that. Let's find provinces with high local autonomy. Not using that, we want the Autonomy Map Mode. Which I can never remember what my new keyboard shortcut is for. I know I have it, it's like... Y? No, U. No, T. It's T. So we would want to give them a province that has high autonomy already, like this one. Oh, well, this one's owned by the clergy. 37%. Twenty. Remember, one of these had an estuary. Yeah, you know what? This one could be pretty good. Let's raise autonomy, grant this to the burgers. It's not going to be enough to get them up to the next threshold, but... Honestly, I think we're going to do that here, too. And over here. No, not that one. This one. I'm hoping we can get that last little bit of loyalty. We need 4.8% loyalty. I'm willing to give him two more. We don't lose much. And it gives us this, which saves us Monarch points. Which is important. And we just do it by short, by smallest cost. Because eventually... It's not going to be an issue. We're going to spend these ones too. Good stuff. Wow, look at that income. Estates demand control of territory. Of course. <laughs> Every time I do development, I end up like not developing the right provinces, and they get pissed. Okay, nobility. Control. The red ones. Development. 66 cost, 73 cost, 68, 74, 
62 over here. Why don't we do a little bit of military development over here? I mean, we're behind time on military, though. Let's do admin development here. Maybe that'll be enough. I think we're at like 14.8. No, 14.9. That might be enough. Stupid bastards. I've given them all lots of influence. There we go. One development was enough. Good. Okay, Regency Council it is. Could be worse. Could be a zero 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 Regency Council. I've had it before where I've had like three monarch points or fewer. Let's improve relations with someone who's in the coalition. I mean, it's kind of fruitless, I think, to, to really worry about it too much just because if they're already in the coalition, they're constantly going to be in the coalition the next time we start to expand, but eh. It's a bit easier than, like, trying to remember which countries we're about to join and working on them. Besides, we have six more years of peace. Six more years of aggressive expansion decaying. At a pretty good clip. I mean, it comes down at 3.3 per year. I totally forgot about Tyrol, didn't I? Okay, next month we can offer vassalization to this guy. There goes his alliance with Alm. Tyrol. Mercenary cost, infantry combat ability. They've got some missionary strength. That's kind of cool. He's gone defensive offensive. I like that. Attack dog. Uh, we obviously hate Austria. Let's tell... Let's specify which land we want, which is going to be... You know, all of Austria. And hopefully, Tyrol will fabricate some claims. He's starting to work on Salzburg. Very temporarily there, our alliance was about to break. Probably the one with Tyrol. My guess is Tyrol's provinces were set to that land that he wanted to. And it was still showing that it was an alliance. And it just took a month to update that he's a vassal now. Tuscany's allied France. So he's allied two people near me. France... Allied Venice and Tuscany. France is nothing compared to what it used to be. I mean, those two wars where we took him to 100% and 20 war exhaustion, they just wrecked him. I don't think he's ever going to be what he was before. He's only got 27,000 troops, you know? It's just, it's so expensive for him to come back from that. And I wouldn't be surprised if he still has loans. He's, he's got nine loans. I mean, he is, he is getting totally ruined. No unrest above 80%, so let's just go down to zero maintenance. Be nice to finally get Military Tech 13. We could probably afford a better guy. Shen had told me that the only... Uh, the only estate that grants military advisors is the, the Cossacks. The only one. We could just spend the extra money and just... Yeah. I'd rather have monarch points right now over money. Now, if we go up to full maintenance, I think we're going to be losing money. Possibly. Maybe even not. 
Is this true? Are we gonna keep on making a profit? I just wanna do this for one month. Yeah, look at that, we can make a profit. Sick. Austria is now an administrative monarchy. We are still a feudal monarchy. Why would you make this change? Like, what's the... I don't get it. You want more money? It's strange. Do we need this fort? I think not. I do not like mountain forts. I really only like forts in my capital. Army traditions at 81? Amazing. It's gonna come down quite a bit between now and the time we can next, next go to war, though. So, French separatists are pissed off in Nemours. If we go to full maintenance, we can actually block that completely. And then Rethel. We have Ansbach and Straubing. This one can't come down any lower. Straubing can't come down any lower. So, it is what it is. If legitimacy could come up, our tolerance would be better, we'd probably be okay. Our two vassals are quite happy. Thirteen regiments between them, not bad. Tyrol is not the right religion. Let's correct that. And Tyrol's gonna have pretty good income. Four ducats a month from his capital. Due to the gold mine. And that's with only four development. Like, just imagine if he actually developed his capital a little bit here. He's very quickly gonna convert this. Wow. You know, I gotta admit, I'm kind of impressed how, quick, how quickly he can do it. Well, the development's only ten. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. It's not very difficult. Speed 4 it is. France is trying to fabricate claims on me, that's pathetic. Meanwhile, the coalition is pretty small now, just Salzburg. That's kind of strange, actually. Verden has become an electorate. Austria just lost their recent alliance with Sweden. They weren't allied to Sweden when we declared on them. And they've already dishonored the call. So he's still really weak from his previous war, not willing to help anyone. Out of curiosity, does he have a bunch of debt? He's got nine loans as well. The Ottomans are like the only AI nation that's like a serious threat to us right now. We almost make as much money as they do, but they make a ton of money from trade, and there's not much I can do about that. Well, actually, it's not even that much. Only nine ducats. No, that's me. Never mind. They make 18. Eh, it's okay. We gotta kill the auto man. Who is currently friendly to us. I could have an alliance with you right now if I just said that I didn't want Austria's land. We're already at four out of four, though. Why are we still allied to the Pope? Oh, that's funny. Alright, how many more provinces do I need? We're still nowhere near there. We're one third of the way there. We got a blob quite a bit now. Let's start thinking about military, like the next idea group we might take. Uh, let's not improve relations with Tyrol. He's happy enough, I think. Uh, Liege. Okay, so, idea group, right? Obviously, if we need another 66 provinces that are in the center of Europe, it's going to be a lot of aggressive expansion, and it's going to be a lot of coring cost. So, either administrative ideas would be awesome for the core creation cost, and, uh... Also, I think administrative, is that the one with culture conversion? No, that's, that's re religious. Hmm. I mean, stacking up merc cost modifiers would certainly be pretty sick.
Income from vassals is kind of garbage. Recover army morale speed is not really necessary. I think Humanist is going to give us the best. I mean, it gives us the aggressive expansion impact reduction from better relations over time right here. I mean, that's like a flat 0.6 aggressive expansion per year that you lose. Because it's, it's an additive multiplier, right? Plus 30% better relations over time. Aggressive expansion decays at a rate of 2 per year. So you're going to get 0.6 extra aggressive expansion decay every single year with every single country. It's just that good. So it's really good, right? Tolerance is fine. Years of separatism is just nice. The extra minus unrest is nice. Between these two, you effectively lose uh, 7 unrest in every province, which means you can usually not raise autonomy. And then idea cost is, is fine. The policy visionary thinkers is kind of okay. Prestige has not really been an issue for us. But then the Liberation Act gives you an extra, another 3.5 unrest gets reduced. So that takes you from 7 up to like 10.5, which means instead of raising autonomy, you can either keep it the same or even lower autonomy and still be fine. So I think it's going to have to be humanist, which means fairly soon here, we're going to want to focus admin. I think we want to try to get some more military points, like we're spending a lot right now. One thing we could do is we could turn our policies off during this uh, regency. It's four more years. If we're allowed to turn them off, I'll do it. Yeah. We'll turn them off. We're not going to be at war for a while. I'll probably, probably remember. Also, let's turn off these. We'll add in our... production efficiency. And idea cost is something I need to remember to do, the next idea group. National unrest, could that help us right now? A little bit, kinda. Prestige might be better though, just to keep our... Uh, keep our aggressive expansion... Uh, better relations over time, as high as it can possibly be. No, I'm just going to go with yearly unrest, or national unrest. No, I don't care about that. Wurttemberg. I don't want to lose their loyalty. It is 12.9%. Uh, Fine, you can have it. But then, if you end up with too much, I'm just going to take it back. Well, not that specific province, but a province. So you just took Württemberg, which is 5.1%. We'll take another one that's about 5.1. About and low autonomy, like down here. Yep, just give that back. Okay, everything looks pretty good there. Everyone loves us. We're amazing. Okay, um, not gonna do this because we want admin points for the next idea group. We got four years left. Salzburg refuses to leave the coalition. They hate us. Okay, opinion map mode. Let's uh, let's work with mines. I think Platinum likes us well enough. Clevs. Should probably top off relations with the Commonwealth. We only have plus forty right now. I wonder if you took the time to go through and like set everyone to be friendly, if they would be more likely to improve relations with you, which indirectly makes, I mean, 
Improving relations from Nuremberg, Brabant, and the Mamluks. Like... Brabant is threatened, that's why they're doing it. I wonder if, like, by setting myself to being... Oh, cool. They will generally avoid interacting with you diplomatically. See, by sending everyone to friendly, they'd maybe be more likely to improve relations with you, which would be cool. So either way, we're going to get an extra Monarch Pip. Do we want to average him out, make him a 444, or do we want to focus admin? Probably admin. That'll happen when he turns 15, I believe. Right, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you soon.